And as much as it's like, oh, look at these phantoms who are moving so much faster than me, they all died. So they don't really have any uh, say in the matter. Oh, this is interesting. Hello. I activate these and these. I don't like this. Okay. Hello. Oh. What is going on? I've never seen this before. All right, welcome to Phantom Abyss. This is one of my favorite games, actually. It's a really, really cool game. It's a 3D platforming temple runner. So the whole idea is you go into a temple and have to find the relic at the end. Um, we're gonna run with the lightning whip today, which is a super fast whip, but also has a downside. I'll show you here. Uh, every whip has an upside and downside, except for the first starting whip. Um, this one heals one heart every time you buy, buy a blessing, but you lose two heart containers, which isn't great. But here we have move much faster and long falls and crushing effects are lethal. So as long as we don't fall too far too far down and don't uh, crouch, as long as I do a roll right here, I'll be okay. And as long as I don't get crushed. Um, but we move really fast with this whip. There's lots to explore in the starting area. There's a lot of uh, crazy little areas you can go and find some Easter eggs. But we're going to jump into the temple right here. We're doing adventure mode and we're divine one. Divine one, two, and three are the highest ranks. It makes the temple a lot harder. And it gets harder to win to get up in the ranks. So there's reputation that you can get to rank up. Um, I've played quite a bit of this. And uh, Divine One is very difficult. When we go into a temple, it's going to be randomly generated. And we have 103 phantoms that have died in here. So if you beat the temple, it closes the temple forever. But this de temple has has killed 103 players. So if we were to win this, it would be uh, pretty great. Considering uh, 103 other people tried and failed. So that's what we're going to try today. If another phantom uh, hits the chest, we have to wait for the coins to come out. So we're just going to grab this other chest right here, quick, and move on. So it's really cool, because as as more people die in the in the temple, uh, the temple gets slightly easier, because um, people uh, will, if they die on a trap, the trap will be disabled, and it'll be like a phantom trap. You'll see uh, in the future, I'm sure, because there's 103 people that have died in here, so. I'm going to go across here. Is there a secret? I swear I just saw some, some phantom go up there. Am I crazy? Okay, so we have gold coins on each one of these. And gold coins are important because these are going to give us blessings in the future. Um, we're going to find some blessing statues and upgrade ourselves. There's also some secrets up here, like here. I'm going to flip up to this, except I hit the uh, the wall. There we go. Another chest. And when we fall here, we're going to make sure we crouch. So these, uh, these glowing little pots that fly at you are pretty dangerous. Everything does one full heart of damage. So we, ha if we get hit, we we only have two hits before we can uh, be at lethal. So not great. We're just going to jump across here. Now in these uh, divine temples, uh, the temples are quite long. We're going to wait here and see what happens here. Okay, we're good. Let's look up to make sure we don't lose any secrets. What the heck just happened to my camera? Alright, I'm going to lock on here. Get this chest here. The more money, the better. Because they start... Uh, blessings start at 150. I'm going to make sure they all blow themselves up in the wall here. They start at 150, but then they get up to 200. And then two, they, up, they go up by 50 every blessing. So it's important to... Uh, keep the money up as high as possible. Every time that, that gong goes off, that is someone dying as well. Gonna take my time here. Someone died to the left here. If someone has a loading bar, it means that they are going to die on this stage specifically. Waiting for all these to go off. And you can see the timing is different for certain people. Like, it's not exactly synced up. Waiting for these to go off. We're both, we're both sitting here uh, patiently waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> that took forever. Now these um there's spikes above, so you gotta be careful of those air vents. Well, there's a secret down here, so I'm gonna take this real quick. Huh. So 
We just have to avoid this this one, and we can go to the the left because that that whole spike wall or spike tower has been activated. Okay, we're good. We're just gonna avoid that. I'm gonna go around and also avoid these barrel guys. Perfect. That trap's been activated. I'm gonna crouch down here so they hit the wall. Perfect. Ow. That's what I was worried about. I was worried that I was going to hit that. This should be the end of the, the uh, first stage soon, though. Okay, a lot of people have died in this room. Got to take our sweet time finding the, uh, the way here. That's... So you can hold right-click as well. I forgot about that. So you can hold right-click to, like, reveal... the platforms. Now, I'm not really sure where a way up is. Is there a way up? That's definitely, certainly a way. How are we getting out of here? Okay. This is tough. I don't know where I'm going. And it seems like we have... Okay, there's a bit of an entrance here. And then we should find our way over. So it looks like maybe over here. Yeah, that was... That was not a fun room. There's also an uh, essence right here we can maybe grab. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay, new blessing. So, long whip or quick whip? I prefer long whip so we can get longer distances to whip to the walls. Uh, but I would have liked some health. So now the guardian has awakened and they have an attack every 7 seconds. You will see what that does. And these are the names of all the people that died in that first room. So we have less uh, phantoms. It looks like we had 103. So, yeah. Uh, 31 phantoms died on the first stage. It's, um... It's sometimes a good sign if more people die on the first stage and it wasn't too bad for you. That means, like, everyone just kind of sucks at the game, but... <laughs> we'll have to see. Phantoms can also interact with the traps that you are dealing with. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. They can activate a trap when you don't want them to. We're all just taking our sweet time. I heard another dog. Where's, where is that? Go up here real quick. Oh, there's nothing up here. So there is a key here uh, that you have to grab. It looks like people have already grabbed it. The door is open, so we don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna make our way down now. I'm just gonna leave. Here we're good. Looks like this is the way up. Okay. I actually spoke with the developers, and these these fall when you walk on them. Um, but there's another version that that is timed. Um, so I I suggested that they should put a symbol. Oh, here's the the guardian, by the way. Oh, this is just for some money. I don't really want to. Uh, don't want to do that. Okay, we're good. Sure, why not? All right, not too bad. Go the other way now. Okay. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Now, if the Eye of Agony spawns in here, it's kind of it's kind of mean. It's so thin because you can take damage on you can take damage on the Eye of Agony. Okay, we're good. Let's get rid of these guys. And we do have long whip, but we don't have quick whip. A little scary. We got a chest here. 
And we should just be able to go around this guy. There might be a chest up here. Oh, I thought he was going to fire. So there's a chest down here. We'll take that real quick. So we're at 382. So we have enough for the next blessing. And almost the next one. We need 450 for the next two. A little scary. I had to go down just in case. I didn't know where all the uh, the darts were flying. So, we'll grab these essences on our way. And the essences help upgrade your whips and upgrade other things, like unlock stuff, certain stuff. That guy just died <laughs> to all of that. We just saw that happen. Should take my time. There's, there is a timer, but the timer doesn't actually matter. You can take your time. And as much as it's like, oh, look at these phantoms who are moving so much faster than me. They all died, so they don't really have any uh, say in the matter. Oh, this is interesting. Hello. Please be the end soon. Uh, a lot of people died to dogs in this room. That's a lot of death. Alright, you can go away. Man. A lot of people struggled in this area. Just gonna wait. I hear something. Ah, oh, a chest. Someone's already been through here. It's, um... Oh, they already finished this area. That's fine. Okay, so we got a blessing. Let's see what we get. Double jump or whip again? I think I want double jump here. Double jump is just a free, like, cancel high height. Um, wings is even better. Wings lets you slowly descend. But now you can see the heat rays are coming at uh, every 6.45 seconds. Now, there aren't that many dungeons in these divine temples. Uh, but in the full game, uh, in classic mode, there are, like, 10 areas, if not more. Um... And so each one... Is there, a, is there a statue somewhere? Sometimes there's a statue right away. But I guess in the divine the divine levels, there are not. I don't trust these. People can whip these, and they'll move again. This guy died over here. We can go through here. Oh, it started moving. That's what I'm talking about. you got to be a little bit careful. When some people move... Uh... I gotta remember I have double jump too. When some people move or whip the things, you gotta be really careful because the timing could be off. You don't know. Right, someone active. What's up, what's up with these? Are these busted? I think they're like glitched. Okay. Well, I'm at one HP. And when they hit this. Let's go through here with these guys. We are at 1, H 1 HP. This is not a great situation for us. I started to go away. I only had a few seconds left. I should be able to make this with long whip. So you hit this guy, and these show up. I would really love a heal. That would be great. my sweet time with this area and activate these and these I don't like this we're just gonna run along here okay hello Let's, uh, let's go down here real quick. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I really need to do that. Uh, the money's worth it, though. Oh, but you're not fun. Get 
Yeah, we're good. Like I said, we're gonna take our time because if we don't, there's probably a good likelihood that we die here. Especially with the Eye of Agony being down in this hallway. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. The Eye of Agony is one of the worst. Um, for the later levels on the classic mode because he attacks so quickly, like insanely fast. Like he just shoots lasers all the time. Oh, we got, we got an interesting room here. I'm not going to lie. I don't. I think we just go above. Yep, we escape like that. I, I like that. And we got the finished room. Hopefully a heal, please. Heal. Oh, but wings. Oh, no. Wings is so good. I think we need to heal once. Wings is so good, but unfortunately I do have to pass it up. I really, I really should. I should have maybe grabbed wings and just played really safe. But we've got an inferno dungeon here. Another, another shrine. Okay, interesting. So all we have is double jump and long whip. We, we got to make do with what we got. This guy died to that boulder. I didn't grab that essence, but that's okay. We're good. I did miss a chest though. Maybe I should go grab the money. Cause I do need more money for the next, uh, the next blessing. Now what am I get? What am I gonna do here? Are those activated? Oh, they're not activated. Okay, so you fly. Okay, I see. I see the path now. You have to wait for these to come back. I'm gonna break the line of sight of this this eyeball here. Please go away. Thank you. I got it. And someone died to this this uh, dart trap too. Oh, okay, come on, please go away. Okay, we're good. Um, we somehow avoided that with a crouch. I'm not really sure how. <laughs> Everyone is dying, man. What is happening? Someone died right here. How? How did they die right here? Change angles here. 103 phantoms is some is a pretty high high count of phantoms. I don't usually see that many. A roll real quick. Yeah, we can leave. There's also stuff above. Maybe I should go grab that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide for a second. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Blessings heal me. Um, I think I'm going to do that. That's huge. So the next blessing should get me to full HP. Hello. I'm going to get a vantage point here. I think this is the play. I think I just go for the very top here. Well, first off, let's hide you real quick. A little scary, but it works. And we made it. Is it 300? It's 300. Perfect. And we heal. Now we can grab wings. Okay. Huge. This is amazing. Okay. We're on the final area. So every 5.35 seconds now. 17 phantoms made it to the final room and died. Now to, to win, this is a uh, second floor finish. So... There should still be four rooms. Oh, it's only two. 
There's only two for this one. Okay, so there's two exits that we have to we have to open up uh two braziers. So everyone here died. Okay. We're good. Hello. And welcome to the power of wings. <laughs> it's just so good. Okay, let's take our time here. Wings and double jump is, is usually a pretty secure win for me. Uh, except for crushing effects. A little scary. These crushing effects could literally insta-kill me, so I gotta be really careful with those. As secure as I feel with 3 HP. Okay. It's not a great situation uh, for crushing. So if we see a lot of crushing effects, we're, we're in a bad spot. I'm just gonna activate these darts real quick. Maybe just open up a, a spot for me here. Someone died on this one. So these activate on a timer. I see an opening a little bit. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Now we just wings our way down here. We've got a secret path. Hide ourselves here. We're good. Well, that's just rude. Okay, I see a secret entrance up there. Oh, it's actually the pillars. Uh, is there a reason why we want to go up here? I guess so, yeah. It's okay, here's one half. Okay, so here we go. Not bad. We have one more side to go. The laser is already here. Goodbye. Okay, go away. We gotta do the right side now. Now, in the Inferno endings, you have to go... You have to uh, go through four areas. So we got kind of lucky with the ending here. Go on through. Good. All right, let's move on. I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Someone's already been to the right side, so there should uh, should be a few uh, cleared things. Hopefully, what is this? What was that? I've never seen that before. I've played a lot of this game and there's still things that show up that I have never seen before. Poor guy. Okay. I see a shrine, I take a shrine. I like this. Safe statues. I think I'm just going to heal one. Oh, it's actually going to give me an extra heart container, but it's the same thing as healing one right now, so I will take that. I think we're nearing the end here. Uh, I just leave. Thank you. I don't really need any blessings, so I don't really need money. Oh, an inverse climb is not fun here with all the spike traps. I don't even know why I'm grabbing money. Money does not matter to me right now. 
Okay, we're good. Sometimes there's a secret room up there somewhere. And here's the other torch. And that is it. Not too bad. Pretty happy with that run. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I got a duplicate relic, so it doesn't really do anything for me. But I'm, I've gotten most of them. I can show you guys the relic room too before we end here. I've collected most of them. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more coming when the uh, the full update release comes out. Which is going to have a fourth area. Because re the regular mode goes from uh, green zone to blue zone to red zone. And the red zone is the hardest right now. But that was not, not, not too bad. I really enjoyed that. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. As we rank up here, we're going to need a lot of reputation to get to Divine 2. I think it's 500. And this, this run will probably give us around 200. We'll see. Oh. Actually. We're, we're already almost Divine 2. That wasn't bad at all. So there it is. Um, and that actually is going to weaken a chain. It completely got rid of one. We only have one chain left. Oh. Wait, is he free? What is going on? I've never seen this before. Wait, the guardians are keeping him here? He's trying to escape. I, I'm not really sure what the full lore is. End of early access content. Alltech needs more souls, dev time to break free. Stay tuned for updates. Wow. That's the first time I've ever seen any of that. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just jumped on his head. Or his body. It's a setback, no more. So there's, these guys have activated. I've never seen any of these effects. That's really cool. What a wild time to do one more run. <laughs> I was born blind. So whenever, whenever you finish a temple with the one that it is, this is the Eye of Agony here. You can actually talk to it, um, which is interesting. It doesn't really say much, but there's the Devouring Rage, uh, the Eye of Agony, and I cannot remember this guy. I can never remember his name, but he throws poison and spawns. Um, but here's the relic room. So we've collected most of the relics. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven relics. That's it. And you can see here behind these bars, there's actually another room with some relic tables. So that will be probably something in the future for the Void Room. But yeah, um, these are the Inferno Relics, the highest ones. And then these are the uh, the base level relics. And these are the Blue Temple Relics. So pretty cool. Um, and there's also like this this um, Adventurer Phantom that talks to you once in a while. It's pretty neat. Really cool. Let me know, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'm really excited to uh, give some more runs a try and get up to Divine 3. Because Divine 3, I've seen some runs online. They are crazy. Even crazier than what I'm dealing with. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.